Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Gonna do your love reading here for February 2023. Hope you're all doing well. If you're new, please do destroy that like and subscribe button. Um, personal reading links are in the description box below. I am running a special for February. 15% uh, off personal reading. You can also follow me on Facebook. The uh, address is right above here. And uh, also in the description box. Okay, Virgo, just keep yourself mindful that these are general messages. So some of the messages may, they may not resonate with you. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's get into this, Virgo. What are the messages that Virgo needs to know for February? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, well, you've got boat and you have seduction. <laughs> Okay, Virgo, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, issues possibly, and seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, cooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, so those messages could resonate for you, but what I really feel like the energy here is either somebody's going to be seduced into buying a boat, <laughs> there may be something here where there is hmm, a trip coming up, somebody's being seduced into taking a trip um, or somebody wants to take a trip there's there's a very seductive energy between two people showing up here in February all right let me see here maybe someone owns someone might own a boat what else another message for Virgo that's uh, it's interesting because I don't think I've gotten the boat card for quite some time so let me see Okay, healthy choices. All right, well, we always like healthy choices. Hmm. All right, Virgo, so you're definitely making some healthy choices in love and in your life. Okay, you've got the three of swords that just showed up here. I just saw on the bottom of the car of the deck. So yeah, there could be a third party interference or um, somebody's making a move towards you if you're already in a relationship. Um, boat doesn't have to mean an actual boat there is something here about um some of you might be avoiding temptation or avoiding someone who is trying to draw you in to their you know their seductions okay um and i feel like there's an energy here of saying no because if it's happening to you and somebody's doing this Virgo, I feel like you are just kind of like not trying to get into this energy again. And I feel like you are, um, have moved on and you're in a better place in your life. Okay. All right, good. All right, let's move forward. What are the other messages here for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Okay. So the moon, oh yeah. Wow, some secrets starting to come to light here virgo cancer pisces energy i feel like um hmm, what is coming to light here though what is virgo finding out about what is coming to light okay hmm. so some of you have someone who's younger much younger than you who um yeah there's like a really strong attraction Someone younger than you, very, very attracted to you. Wait, let me just see. Wow, the lovers. Okay, Virgo, this looks like, um, this looks like something here. Like, <laughs> it feels like a lot of physical pleasure. Um, this feels like a love affair. I I'm not even kidding. It, like, you know, as you guys know, like, I don't really, like, you all do what you want to do. You guys all live your lives. But it, Virgo, it just feels to me like someone, maybe somebody that you work with or you go to school with, um, maybe there's a child involved or a teenager, and then there's a parent, another parent. But there's a real, like, there's a, <laughs> there's a real strong attraction that someone is kind of keeping secret that starts to come out in February. And you know what? It, it gives me a sense of like it shouldn't it's almost forbidden there's almost this forbidden energy like in the sense of where <laughs> it's morally forbidden 
but it kind of feels like, I mean, I'm not seeing anything that you're doing except possibly saying no to someone based on, like, I mean, they're a lot younger than you. Yeah, trying to keep things in balance. I, I definitely feel like somebody's coming out of the woodwork here who is very, it's like they're, they're flirting with you in February. There's a lot of flirtations, but it's like, and I'm not saying that you're, you won't be attracted to somebody here. Definitely. I feel like the, the overtures that this person makes towards you, um, probably are going to give you a lot of like help with a self-esteem thing or just give you some like, oh, look, I still got it kind of thing. But at the same time, it's like, like, I feel it, Virgo, that you sit here and you're like, well, we need to, I need somebody that's going to be equal to me as far as like we're on the same page. You know what I mean? Um, it's so hard because I, I mean, I understand age gap differences and I understand that people, when love comes, then just love comes. You know what I mean? And you can't help who you fall in love with and you don't often have this, you know, like you, it's a tough situation because I feel like this situation feels like it probably shouldn't happen for a lot of different reasons, a lot of different reasons. Maybe you're already in a relationship or um, it's just someone that you know or there's children involved yeah here's a child here on the sun card it's like it feels like someone's just coming out of the blue or coming out of the woodwork and is just flirting with you and you know is trying to have some kind of hookup or or they have a third party or another person and it feels like virgo you're avoiding this and maybe just taking it with a grain of salt and just saying okay well you know what i still got it or that feels good or someone's attracted to me that kind of thing you say to yourself but it's like i don't i don't know that you're going to actually act upon it okay it may it definitely gives you like a feel good kind of thing like you feel you know the sun joyous happy very positive it gives you like positive feelings <laughs> for go these readings i'll tell you what they're something but you're definitely in this like healthy choice thing maybe some of you okay they just said there is somebody one of you virgos who's been really doing the self-love self-care and taking really good care of yourselves and you're attracting you know virgo when when you really start doing that taking care of yourself like you're not just going to attract people that you're interested in you're going to attract people that you're not interested in um, you're going to attract all types of people. You actually <laughs> kind of make yourself a bit of a target when your, your attitude is right. You're, you're looking good. You're taking care of yourself. You're, you're doing all like you're taking all the steps. You're creating high value within yourself. You're going to attract a lot of different people. So I do feel like there is somebody here who's coming forward that you're just probably going to take it with a grain of salt and be like, nah, but thanks anyway. And I just feel like you're going to go home and be like, mm -hmm, that's right. Uh, that's right. I am high value. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it's an egotistical thing. It just feels like a boost. Yes, there you go. I swear when the cards talk, they talk. It's a boost, Virgo. There you go. This is like queen of the castle, king of the castle. You know what I mean? That energy is definitely playing out here for you. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about who this person is. Just so you can kind of be like, get a little qualifier of who the heck, who the heck is coming after Virgo. Hmm. It's a ghost, Virgo. They're hidden in the background. It's a ghost. Okay. Let me see. So it could be a water sign for some of you. Um, it could be a dragon Chinese dragon sign. Okay. And for others, queen of wands. Okay. Fire energy, whether that's their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is someone who is pretty much out in the open. They're overt. This is someone who's popular. They talk to a lot of people. They're very social, um, very attractive kind of person. They might have auburn hair or reddish brown hair, could have blonde hair. Um, but yeah, this person, again, feminine or masculine energy. 
it, and it's weird because <laughs> I feel like there's like a secret kind of crush kind of thing going on here, right? Like this person is pretty like out in the open. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I mean, they could have any color hair and we'll look at the features as well. But I feel like this person is pretty much out in the area. They might have a black cat out in the open. They're very like... Um, extroverted kind of energy but this little thing that they have here for you um, definitely keeping hidden okay so this nine of pentacles just fell sideways um so either you or this person they do have a significant other but it looks like they might be going through a separation um i mean there's definitely um, someone here who's trying to or they're just recently divorced there's definitely yeah okay five of cups so something ended uh yeah virgo i mean i'm not seeing anything auspicious with this person except for the moon card where i do feel like that's more of like secret emotions that this person is developing here for you could be a gemini as well there could be a leo here too which i did say and sagittarius but I definitely feel like with a five of cups, this person is like grieving some kind of loss. And I don't know, this doesn't feel like a fly by night. I feel like this person does have somebody else, but like they're on the way out, that kind of energy. Okay. Um, and some of you might be as well. <clears throat> okay. So there's the emperor. Interesting. Okay. Okay, for some of you, this could be like someone who is either they're in military or police or maybe they're principal of a school or a professor or, you know, like they're a big wig. This person shows up as like a big wig. Um, this could also be a friend of somebody's husband as well or connected or you could be friends with the father figure and they have like a like somebody who's like a, a son or daughter okay so hmm somebody who's born on the 23rd they're just telling me so two of wands and the three of cups here yeah i definitely feel like for some of you there may be this energy of like hey i've got someone you might want to meet you could be completely single you know virgo but keeping yourself like low-key not really socializing all that much and you may get a message from someone um, trying to make do a matchmaker kind of thing. But at the same time, it's like, whoa, this person's like super, super young. You might be okay with it, Virgo. I don't know your story. You know, um, some of you might just be like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, a little, um, I don't know, girl or boy toy. That's the way you like to play. Some of you also might be like, age doesn't matter to me. It's what's in the heart. And it's all about maturity. And others of you just, it might have you sideways, like, okay, well, I appreciate all of the attraction and the attention, but I'm not interested. Okay. This kind of feels like a singles reading, which I was not here to do yesterday. Um, hmm. Okay. Death card. Yeah, Virgo, it looks to me like something has ended and there's a recovery period and there's a working on self energy happening here. This feels like it just comes out of the blue. Like I keep saying that. It just feels like this this thing. You're trying to make healthy choices and isn't that the way it goes? You know, as soon as you start quit, as soon as you start um, your diet or you, you know, you, you say, I'm getting rid of all the sugar and the cake or I'm not gonna eat that stuff anymore. Doesn't it just seem to appear more, you know, <laughs> Virgo? It's like, you know, you, I'm done with chocolate cake and now chocolate cake is everywhere. It's like you're constantly being, you're constantly being tempted. And that's kind of what I feel like is happening here in February. You are like taking a break from a relationship or relationships or dating. You're focusing on self. You're doing what you need to do for yourself. You're, you know, you're not trying to get into anything you're working you're building your business you're doing whatever um, some of you are you're staying open to meeting people but you're not making a priority and then here comes a, t a temptation right <laughs> oh my gosh yeah look how this just flew out the nine of wands it's kind of like oh let me step back for a minute here we go now recognize it virgo before you act on it <laughs> pay attention 
to the things that are good for you and the things are not not good for you like have a conversation sit down Virgo and have a conversation with yourself like okay let me just think about this for a second let me just take a breath now and try try to figure out all the different ways that this could go okay <laughs> don't overthink it but you kind of I feel like Virgo you've been through a lot and you're really trying to get yourself in like a much better um position or trying to reposition yourself in life and get in a much better position so that you don't be impulsive and make crazy decisions that will have a long-term effect on you later and hmm i do see some of you like considering something here right I, I, even if it's just for a moment i do see you considering something but some of you i, I mean if the hierophant shows up yeah some of you just want to do things by the book you might be yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't, you might be questioning, you know, would this be, like, would this be morally right to do this? Should I do this? Should I not? Like, and a lot of questions asking yourself, you know, uh, okay, well, does age really matter? You know, can we fall in love and be happy ever after? Or will this just be like a fly by night kind of thing? Is this healthy and good for me? Others of you already know the answer. Okay. Yeah, look, will people talk? Will there be gossip if I do it? Um, will there be like spying? Will there be issues, curiosity? You know, um, will people try to get into my business? Like, oh, there we go. <laughs> These readings, I can't. Okay, what will my family think? What will other people think? You know, can this turn into a long-term relationship, marriage, a happily ever after? commitment kind of thing virgo you have so much on your plate here in february you know it's like great when it rains it pours virgo you can't just have somebody come in who's just you know in alignment with you and there's no drama and everything's fine no you're getting someone here who you're being tempted something is tempting you and some of you are like i don't know i was tempted last time i don't know if i can do this again look <laughs> Let me just try to consider, do I, do I go ahead and make this investment or not, Virgo? I feel like I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I do get a sense that you're kind of going to be like, definitely thinking about it here. Definitely thinking about it. Okay. Let me see what the Romance Angels messages are, Virgo. <clears throat> this feels like... Um, Oh my god just that really old movie with dustin hoffman i forget what it's called because i just can never draw up my short-term memory is completely gone well i guess that would be long term um because that's such an old movie what the hell was it called you know where he dustin hoffman falls in love with that older woman and then you could reverse the the genders as well but i'm sure i'll remember it once i finish the video um if you guys know post in the post in the chat here Mrs. Jones? No. I don't know. I don't remember. Really old. It's from like the 60s. There's like a temptation, a seductress, sedu seduction. Oh, you've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow, Virgo. And it's so true because soulmate energy, right? Like, there's definitely a connection that gets made here. Now, look, I'm not saying that this is a teenager. Okay, that's gross. Ew, get off my channel if that's what you're all about. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there's like something. They could be 10, 15 years younger than you. And there's an attraction, sure. But I, I feel like, Virgos, you're so level-headed. You know, you some of you might just be like, oh, what will we even have in common? There could be a lot of obstacles. But isn't it interesting how love happens? You know, you find that person that the connection gets made and it's like, wow. And then it's it's like, okay, you feel it. Like there's that two of cups energy, that soulmate energy. You even got the lovers where it's like every, it's like two souls where souls don't have an age. The souls connect, right? But then the logistics of everything <laughs> has to be considered as well. You know, um, what will you have in common and, and will you think along those lines or will you just, you know, indulge in the soul connection, Virgo? There's so much showing up here. So yeah, like I don't feel like, I feel like this person a lot younger than you, but I don't necessarily feel like it's 
so forbidden that you're going to go to jail. <laughs> and like I said, if that's something you're considering, I mean, go ahead and speak up because I'm going to report your ass. That's disgusting. Let me see here. And I know maybe this is somebody you've already dealt with or you've already been in a relationship with where um, you and this person had a huge age gap. There's definitely a connection with that person showing up here in February. Okay. Another love message, please. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Past life relationship. This is definitely a soulmate connection. Like it could even be like twins connecting. Who to think? Who to think it? <laughs> Who to thunk it? Your twin, your twin, your soulmate, your soul twin, your soul flame um, is going to show up as something that you completely have to question. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's just these obstacles. I keep feeling like there's obstacles here that you're really going to need to, con that, well, that you may consider. Some of you are, you know, those Virgos that are like, no, I got to think this through first. All right, let me see what the messages of love are. I, I just feel like this person has like a real deep emotional thing for you. Like they're very attracted to you. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. Look, there you go. Different pages. You and this person. Don't share the same vision. Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So, <clears throat> Virgo, there's definitely an energy here of like, yeah, that's what I was saying. There's a different, there's differences, you know, not being on the same page, and even just like, okay, <laughs> what will we talk about? What will we have in common? You know, maybe it's just better that uh, the relationship is taken lightly and it's not too serious um, because there's such some kind of an age difference here okay yeah friendship is here so maybe this relationship is better to just be friends and for some of you might just decide like i said earlier in the reading um it could be friends with benefits right um where it's a very short temporary kind of thing it's not meant for the long term you know, um, this reading is tough and I'm not condoning and I'm not agreeing. I have no personal opinion. I know some of you are like, I'm not doing friends. I deserve better. But you know what? That's you. And there may be other people who are just so lonely. They need that connection with someone. And, you know, understand that if you're 35, I could also be talking to someone who's 70 or someone who's 65, who's not, they've already been, they've been to the circus. The older people have been to the circus and seen the puppet show. They've had their kids. They've raised their kids. They are just looking for companionship while there's some of you also who have not even had, uh, you know, begun that part of your life. Okay. So understand like with different ages comes different requirements and needs okay so if you're not that person well don't get offended I'm not talking to you okay there's somebody here who has been through and they've done everything they're just like you know I just want companionship I don't want marriage I don't want a long term and there could be some of you who are younger also who are just you don't want kids you don't want family kind of thing you just want person to travel with and someone to you know spend some quiet nights with and things like that and so you know it's not a one size fits all it, you ha in other words like you have to take it as it resonates for you if you're that person that you know wants to start a family because you don't have that or you're you're longing for that long-term kind of thing this might not be you for you and it might be like okay well i see what this person wants and it's just not going to work for me does it make them a bad person no everybody comes to the table with their own suitcase full of goodies and the things that they need and everybody's got something different okay um so it, it could just be a situation where you're like you know mm -mm, that's not what I'm looking for and you know you might just sit just kind of say well thank you and that makes me feel really good that you're attracted but I would we'll just be friends we're on just to totally different pages here okay we'll just you know we'll just laugh and goof off and just enjoy our time together but I'm not getting into anything serious while others of you are like no we'll just be companions 
and have that the physical intimacy, the emotional intimacy, but we're on different pages and nothing more can come of this, okay? So, yeah, it's a different message for everybody, okay? But the relationship, no matter if it's friendship or whatever can stand the test of time, there is stability here. So, you know, it's up to you, Virgo, what you really want what stage of life you're in and what's going to work for you obviously okay let me see i'm going to take some messages from the moon pie okay some of you do have a financial decision that's coming up that you're going to need to really consider this may not be connected to the reading it could just be separate um there is definitely something showing up here you could be already dealing with this where um so a financial decision could be whether or not to invest your money into something, whether that's a purchasing a big ticket item or selling something. There's definitely a big financial decision you're making. Okay. You also have, okay, girls night out. That could be for the men as well, right? So I do see in February there's going to be a night out. Some of you might go out with some friends or socialize and you meet somebody. In this whole scenario okay so I definitely see something being planned you are I just heard um, some of you are going to get like an anonymous for Valentine's Day and this is mostly for um, on the receiving end you, you will re get some kind of like anonymous gift or flowers or something sent to your work from someone this person here who has a thing for you and they might like I said not really revealing themselves with that moon energy but kind of coming out but not putting a name to themselves it almost feels like a secret crush <laughs> okay and a material wish is being granted here for you Virgo in February so all right big ticket item something here that you maybe you've wanted or something that you do want to have or you've been wanting to have you've been wishing for house car new clothes very aesthetic material items okay all right and then you've got the moon again although there may not be enough light to see ahead and the shadows may frighten you only believe in what you can see and not what your mind tricks may play on you trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation but remain still until more information is available be cautious so in regards to this situation that's what i was saying a lot of you are just kind of don't gaslight yourselves and you're going to make sure that you're not going to lie to yourself about a decision here that gets presented or an offer that comes to you from somebody okay wow committed <laughs> committed love relationship interesting virgo for some of you i'm going to say this it can turn into this okay but that is something if that's something that you want you'll definitely need to consider if you are um, say 45 and you've got a 25 year old who's interested in you can that turn into something sure it could turn into a long long term thing it could turn into committed love like committing to each other committing to the relationship to make it work absolutely that could happen is that something that you would want some of you might i just saw leonard dicaprio what's he in his 50s he's now in a relationship with a 19 year old <laughs> listen <laughs> whatever floats your boat look at there's so many opinions i don't know i have a friend that i went to school with we are the same age um we are in our 50s and her husband is in his early 70s you know what I mean? They met when, you know, he was in his 40s and she was in her 20s. And they've been together ever since, you know? So, I mean, listen, <laughs> we're not going to get into all that. I just kind of feel like you've got some stuff coming up. You've got quite a few things, this relationship, and then you've got good news about money. So you've got quite a few things here to consider about what you want to do 
what you're going to do. Okay. I know you're trying to, like, if anything, Virgo, it feels like make the healthiest choices for you, not for anybody else. Okay. You can't live your life worrying about what other people think. You have to go about your own business and do what's best for you. Okay. Because somebody's always going to have something negative to say. So just do what you're going to do anyway, because you can't, you can't stop that. Moving to a safe place, new plans evolve and manifestation happening. Okay. So some of you could be relocating or someone is. You've got new plans start coming through, start happening here. So um, there's uh, somebody's making new plans. You could be, there's an energy here of like seeing the light. Something's growing, some plans, things are happening. And also this manifestation is magician energy. That's Gemini right there. So there's definitely an energy of like whatever you're trying to manifest, like it's, ha it's starting to happen here. Okay, if you're just trying to manifest love and you're being very general about it, I feel like, you know, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it, Virgo. Some of you might be like, well, I'm just wishing for a lover. Yeah, well, your lover might show up in the form of a dog. <laughs> I mean, I think you got to kind of be more specific. And I mean, like a dog, a real dog or just someone who acts like a dog. Like you have to be very specific. Okay. Let's get your Chinese signs here. So the first thing, remember when I started the reading, I picked up on the dragon Chinese sign, you're the dragon. So I want to consider that. Could be you, it could be the other person. Let's see, Let's get into this other person. Okay, we have year of the rabbit, year of the pig, Year of the Rat, Year of the Dragon, there you go. You, okay, Rabbit again. We are in the Year of the Rabbit right now. Year of the Pig is here again. Okay, Year of the Snake. Year of the Ox. Year of the Tiger, just one more please. And a Year of the Horse, okay. Very, very interesting. Let's look at physical features and try to see what physical features we can get, 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 get. Try and get an idea of what this person looks like or who they are. Okay, physical features for Virgo's person showing up here. And for others, this could be you, keep that in mind. Okay, someone here has very short hair and someone also has very long hair. Okay, we've got someone here with average weight, not too thick, not too thin. Someone has very curly hair. Okay, we've got someone here with red hair and I did say in the beginning of the reading, I saw someone with auburn or red hair. Okay, and we have someone with freckles. Oh, and someone who's bald or shaved head, very finely shaved. We have someone who wears glasses. And one more. Okay, we also have someone who is slender. Wait, no, they said another. Oh, and also muscular. So you have someone who's average weight, slender, muscular. Okay, so there's either someone who um, right now could be cutting, okay, or building muscle and then cutting to lose extra fat. We could have someone here who's average weight, who just slims down or starts building muscles, or they were muscular at one time and now they got a dad or a mom bod. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can get some names for you guys. What names do we have for Virgo for this person? Names for Virgo. Okay. All right, we have someone from Tasmania. I just heard that. Someone's coming in from Tasmania. Okay. And also someone works at a gas station. You might connect with this person. They're at a gas station. They work at a, they're out there pumping gas. <laughs> <laughs> or they work at a gas station. 
Okay, some of you getting that fill up, and then you're gonna be getting a second fill up later. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Stop, Kel, stop. <laughs> you're like, ooh, look at that hottie. <laughs> Working on that car. Mm. Or, you know, <laughs> working behind the counter, getting them uh, Slurpees, filling up my Slurpees, <laughs> ringing me up for that uh, those Tasty Cakes or those uh, little Bic Lighter things. I don't know what's going on at the gas station, y'all, but, you know, hey, <laughs> have fun at the gas station. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. All right. So, hmm. They were, first they were giving me someone is Middle Eastern. Um, somebody could also be of the Jewish faith. Okay. They're not really giving me names, but they are giving me signs here. Okay. If a name shows up, a name shows up. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. I can't with this. I can't with this reading. <laughs> I just connected something and it wasn't meant to be that way, I swear. But it must be a message. There's like somebody. All right, I'm stopping. You can figure it out. I'm just going to keep it moving. Okay. All right. For others. All right. This person, they, they like to jog, I'm hearing. Okay. So they're jogging. I just see somebody, I heard they like to jog, and then I see somebody jogging through a park. Okay, so I don't know if you're one of those people who's also jogging or running or walking through a park. You connect with this person who's younger jogging through a park. I'm just hearing in February. Okay, gosh, yes. Oh, and somebody's wearing a GoPro. <laughs> Sounds like a very young person. Somebody's wearing a GoPro or doing something with a GoPro. All right, they're giving me the name John <clears throat> or Joanna, Johan, Johanna, John or Johanna, Joanne. Okay, and then I'm just picking up somebody's okay jogging and hiking. There might be some jogging and hiking connection. All right, and somebody's got very blonde hair and does something with a boat or is near a slip, boat slip on the water. Um, I heard, just heard the name, Start. a name starts with a K, okay. All right, um, okay, now they're just telling me Prince William. Are you going to meet Prince William? Yo, if you do, you need to call me. Seriously. Okay. And somebody's also Asian. Okay. Somebody is also Asian. And let me see. Cindy. They just said Cindy. And then, okay, and then they're giving me the, the initial CP. Uh, Catherine Park or Cynthia Park, um, or Charles Park. I just keep hearing Park. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And somebody works for a company. There's initials. It's either, it looks like it's CPP. CPP. Like Cindy Paul Paul. CPP. CPP Industries, CPP Limited, some type of country or um, company. Okay. Okay, RIP, R I P. They just said RIP. RIP, Trip, RIP. Maybe that's a, a, a nickname. Okay. And I'm hearing JJ. Okay. And Miguel. 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 Okay, Miguel. And one more. Okay. 
Okay, the letter G and again with the letter K. And I don't know if those are two initials, KG or GK. Okay. All right, let me get a charm and then we're going to end out your reading, you guys. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook. The link is in the description box below and it's also right above here. So definitely check that out. And personal reading links are in the description box below. All right. Charms. Oh, beautiful. So you have a butterfly. Okay, so there's definitely transformation and change beginning. Uh, this is something different, something very beautiful, but something very different. Some of you are coming out of a cocoon and really spreading your wings in February. And actually, that actually looks more like a moth. Hmm. That looks, I'm sorry. I mean, I can't tell. At first I said butterfly, but then I'm also picking up a moth and I don't know the symbolism for a moth. I guess I should look that up. Um, yeah, I mean, if you know it, please leave it. What kind of tarot reader am I? I don't know the symbolism for a moth. I've seen it before, but I'm not sure. I can't, if I say it right. And you also have an elephant. Okay, so there's some type of a connection to an elephant. And obviously, elephants are very intelligent, emotional creatures. Um, that could be you, Virgo. But elephants also have very good memories. Um, somebody calls somebody Dumbo. <laughs> they just said Dumbo. Somebody calls another person Dumbo. We're like, yeah, that's my Dumbo. Or this person's a Dumbo. I don't even know. what Dumbos are cute. Wow, are you kidding? And there's the Jewish star. So I'm not even kidding. Like, you can't make this up. There's something to do either with Israel or... Um, let me see if I could show that to you. I hope it's not blurry. Um, Israel or the um, Jewish faith. I guess you can kind of see it. It's a little blurry. Yeah. So... Yeah, there's definitely a connection, something to do with that. Maybe they're, I don't know, I'm just hearing someone is of Jewish faith and, and they work out in the gym. I don't know. Me in the gym, right? So, all right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you, I hope that at least brought you some entertainment and fun. The least I could do, if it comes true, awesome. If that's something that you're, you know, a path that you're heading down that you're okay with, more power to you. And if not, that's fine. Pack your stuff up. Click off the video, come back tomorrow, and there will be a completely different message for you. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Thanks for being in the chat, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.